Hi everyone, FIFA Career Gems here. Thank you for tuning into my channel today. And if you would like to keep up to date with the latest FIFA career mode news, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And welcome to a video that I enjoy recording more than any other on my channel, and that is a growth test career mode. And this time we'll be using the Portuguese wonder kid from Benfica, João Felix. Now he starts off with an overall rating of 76. He's an exciting prospect with a potential of 89. He's 18 years of age and he's recently had his primary position changed to centre forward, but he can also play out wide on the left wing. He's got excellent starting attributes for someone who's only 18 years of age, but his defensive attributes will need a little bit of training to get them improved pretty quickly likewise with his free kick accuracy so his training schedule will reflect that and hopefully we'll get him up to that 90 rated making him one of the world's best as soon as possible so now let's look at the training schedule that i've devised by setting up a preset and all the training drills that we're using in the preset will have a gold stroke hard difficulty so let's have a look in more detail at the training drills used it's going to be direct free kick novice race against the clock Adept attacking scenarios, defend the mini net, and finally crossing scenarios. This should give a very wide range of all attributes to be trained. I've not got the time or the skill level to play any of the training drills, so I always simulate all. Even before we've kicked a ball in this season, a couple of training schedules later, using the exact same training drills, simulating all, he's grown by a plus one from 76 up to 77 the long journey has begun i got an offer in straight away for jao felix from the italian giants napoli but obviously this career mode is centered around jao felix so that offer was firmly rejected and any future offers were blocked do we skip forward now to mid-August? I've already simmed a couple of matches in the league, acquiring four points. And it's time for another training session with Jao Felix, simulating all using the same training drills. And he's now grown plus two, and has an overall rating of 78. Just for a bit of fun, what I did in this career mode, I sold quite a few of my older players and replaced them with some exciting prospects. So I bought in Ismail Asar, Kangin Lee, Sandro Tonali, Calvin Stengs, Dayot Umpankano, Pat Zandaka, Yari Versharen, and my go-to right back, Robert Gumney. Now, I simmed most of the matches throughout the season, except for the big games against Sporting Club Portugal and FC Porto. And Jao Felix impressed in every game that I played, including scoring this goal from outside the area, following a lovely little ball through from Luka Jovic, who I recall from his loan at Eintracht Frankfurt. Excellent strike, leaving the keeper with no chance. What a hit! And then Felix turned provider in the same game against Sporting Club Portugal, holding the ball up beautifully well. Lovely little back heel into Luka Jovic, who slotted home first time. Held the defenders off excellently, and it's a beautiful little back heel. Ja Felix showing his class with a great assist. A few weeks later against FC Porto, Ja Felix popped up with this absolute wonder strike. He's all of 30 yards out. What a pile driver that is. The keeper, no chance. And that is one of the best goals that I've scored on FIFA 19 so far. It's a great hit, 30 yards out. It's like an arrow straight into the top corner. What a goal. So now we move forward right to the end of season number one. And there you can see in the player development window, Ja Felix has grown plus nine and now has an overall of 85. Using the same training drills of direct free kick novice, race against the clock, adept attacking scenarios, defend the mini net and crossing scenarios and simulating all. He's grown an extra plus one, meaning his total growth in season number one is plus 10. And he now has an overall of 86. That's pretty impressive growth in his first season. So now let's have a look how the rest of the exciting prospects grew in the first season. Obviously only Jao Felix has had any training. The rest of these have all grown naturally. So Svilar, the goalkeeper, has grown plus four up to 72. Pasandaka has grown plus four up to 73. Vishardin has grown plus three, now has an overall of 71. Islamir Sar plus three up to 80. Robert Gumney plus three up to 72. Excellent growth as well for Keaton Parks, who's out on loan at New York City FC. He's grown plus three up to 72. 
Callum Hudson Adoy has grown plus three up to 73. Calvin Stengs has also grown plus three and now has an overall of 74. Luka Jovic, who recalled from his loan at Eintracht Frankfurt straight away, he's now at a plus three growth of 84. Tonali has also grown plus three. Kangin Lee, who plays in the same position as Jao Felix, so not a lot of game time, he's grown plus two. Getsa Fernandez also grown plus two. Likewise with the central defensive midfielder, Florentino Lewis. So now it's time to look at Jao Felix's final attributes at the end of season number one. Obviously the main one is grown plus 10 overall up to 86. He's played 34 matches with 17 goals. That's a goal every other game. So now we move on to his individual attributes. And he's had a plus 9 in sprint speed, plus 5 in agility, plus 15 in interceptions and plus 10 in attack position. Plus 16 in slide tackle, plus 14 in standing tackle, plus 14 in long shots, plus 13 in finishing and some excellent growth in other attributes. So now we move on to the end of September in season number 2. And they can see he's already grown by plus one up to 87. Using the exact same training drills and simulating all, he's had an extra plus one. He's now plus two for season number two. And he has an overall of 88. And I continued with the same process of simming most of the matches, except for the big games against Sporting Club Portugal and FC Porto. And Jao Felix continued to impress, this time with his excellent kill effort from outside the area against Sporting Club Portugal. He really is a wonderful centre forward or central attacking midfielder. Excellent shots, great passing range, and he really is the perfect number 10. And he wasn't finished there in that match, adding it to that already wonderful goal that he scored in the first half. He scored this absolute screamer in the second half. Poor clearance from the Sporting Club Portugal goalkeeper and excellently capitalised upon by Ja Felix with a wonderful strike from all of 25 yards. Excellent strike leaving the goalkeeper with no chance. Another quality hit. And he added to those two wonder goals with a tap in to complete his hat trick and receive the match ball against Sporting Club Portugal. The one thing that I have learned from this experiment with Jao Felix is that his pace attribute does increase very, very quickly, making him an excellent centre forward, but also a very good left winger. So here we are now in March of season number two. You can already see he's grown plus three up to 89. Using the same training drills and simulating all, he's now grown plus four. He has an overall of 90, making Jao Felix one of the world's best players. So all that remains to do is have a look at the final attributes of Jao Felix is one of the world's best 90 rated players. He's still only 20 years of age and we've still not completed season number two. So all this has been achieved in under two seasons. In season number two, he's played 35 games and scored a walloping 27 goals. He's had a plus six increase in sprint speed, a plus six in attack position, plus five in interceptions, plus nine in long shots, and some plus fours and plus fives in there as well. So that is how easy and how fast it is to achieve a 90 rated with Jao Felix. For me, he's one of the best players on FIFA 19 in that central attacking midfield or centre forward role. If you've got the patience and you've got the time, you can achieve plus 14 to get him up to 90 rated in under two seasons. So that rounds up today's video. All that remains to say is thank you so much for watching. Tune in next time. FCG out.